Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be giving you guys a general reading and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I see that you're in the midst of making a decision um, and it's like you really wanna manifest this to happen. You want a new beginning, a new start and you're kind of going through the options on what you wanna choose. So I do see celebration coming towards you. Let's see. Yeah, it's like something that you've been wanting justice for like really badly and wanting to manifest justice for it's gonna happen and you're gonna be celebrating and you're really gonna like what's to come also there's an energy that's showing up that's going sorry I have my retainer in my mouth if I sound weird but this person is like having a tower moment okay they're going through it okay they're really burdened they're talking to their friends family I don't know exactly who they're talking to right but they're talking to people and they're probably just getting advice they're super burdened and yeah like they're not having a good time okay but yeah so this person if they didn't already they're going to impulsively come towards you and they're gonna be flying in okay so let's see what's gonna happen okay yeah this person wants to work on things with you like yeah they're super like anxious over this they're very upset and then I got my confirmation card so they must be really upset okay and what they're upset about is that you're not speaking to them or they haven't spoken to you in a long time so this is causing them to basically go insane right and yeah it's like for some reason they think you're happy like you could be happy but i'm saying like even if you're not they think you are and they want to communicate 100 percent. they want to communicate so whoever this reading is for this person wants to communicate with every freaking piece in them like they want to come in right and they're not afraid to come in and freaking ask you why are you ignoring me why aren't you chasing me what's going on with this what's going on with that like they're ready to come in and do that so yeah like you know the energy i'm getting is like what do you think you're doing like what do you think you're doing like no like i want you like it's like a very childish immature like no like i want you now and i'm willing to fucking you know tell you how I feel in a less immature in a less mature way to get what I want and it's like yeah they definitely see you as their wish fulfillment they see you as a stable person and I always say this but even even if you're not this is how they're viewing you they see you as a stable person they see you as a star so you could literally be a star be on social media or they just look up to you they see you as an inspiration and motivation so it's this like what they're they, sorry they have emotions towards you right but the biggest thing is the fact that they look up to you, it's almost intimidating, but I feel like this is the biggest thing to them that makes them feel very emotional towards you because they feel like you're different from the other immature woman who maybe didn't have goals or maybe just weren't mature. And I feel like you are a divine person and they're very used to like karmics and people who are just like, very material very 3d and i just feel like you're not and that was very different and weird to them and um at first they were like what is like what are you like you're you're very different you're weird almost and it's like now they're probably learning stuff about spirituality and they're learning that the people around them are like shitty people and they're like wait a minute that person isn't weird or like different in a bad way like they're different in a good way. They're someone who I would want to be around because I'm tired of being in this immature energy. I'm tired of being around these immature people who are holding me freaking down, holding me down. Just wanna party, just wanna never do anything with their lives, don't have any goals, just wanna sit around and talk about who they effed last night. Like, they're really thinking about this, finally, geez, finally. I also see that this person is at home a lot trying to make a decision on you because they wanna do this in the right way or they want to do it in a way where you like kind of have to say yes and you can't just ignore them i don't know but it's like this person is at home and they're like they're like okay they're actually being mature in this instance they're like okay i need to come in the right way or they're not going to answer or it's not going to go over well but once they get you like say this person doesn't want to message you because they think you might ignore them they will somehow try to like see you in person or kind of like 
text you or call you in a way that isn't like so immature, maybe apologizing first or admitting their wrongs. But right when they get in, I see that they're gonna be like, so what's up? Why, why were you doing that? Or so what's up with this? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like at first they're gonna act very mature just so they can get what they want. Just so they, not get what they want, but just so they could talk to you, you know what I mean? Without you like running away, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so yeah, they wanna come in and offer you something because they're feeling stuck. So it's not because uh, they always like wanted to put you first and treat you good and never hurt you. It's more like, oh, now they're stuck, now they're feeling shitty, so it's like, how am I gonna fix this? I gotta come in to fix me. That's what they're thinking. Yeah, cause they're freaking, like they're definitely, def it's like they're defensive that you're so strong. I'm getting this person, you might really not be chasing them or really just might be doing your own thing, sh like, like showing no attention to them really. And they're defensive that you're being so strong. And that's, that's what I was saying before. Like they're trying to be mature, but at the end of the day, like these are their, these are their thoughts deep, deep down that even they don't even realize they're thinking, right? So they're defensive that you're strong okay because like i said they're used to little little like bro they're not used to a mature person okay they're not used to someone who's like listen you're gonna you're gonna treat me right or i'm out of here because this person might have made you feel like shit because you you held yourself to them standards and you weren't like what they're used to they might have made you feel like who the f do you think you are and now now they realize okay yeah, I see that they want to balance out the situation and make things okay. So maybe this didn't end on a good note or it didn't end great. So it's like they want to come in and give to you, whether that's, you know, an apology or whether that's just simply coming in. Like, it could be anything. It could be a gift. Anything. They want to come in. They want to give to you. But like I said, it's because they're heartbroken. It's because they're feeling shitty. It's not because they're like, oh, I treated this person wrong and I really want to... Like, I shouldn't have done that. It's more like, oh, I'm feeling shitty. I miss this person and I want them now. So now that I'm feeling shitty, I want to fix this. It's all about them. Okay. I'm not saying they don't like you. I'm, like, I'm not saying anything like that, but I just get a selfish energy with this person. Okay. Let's keep going. So... Yeah, I feel like this ending kind of came in a way where you weren't expecting it. It kind of just happened and you basically had to find your happiness out of that. You had to crawl out of this hole and you had to heal yourself and you had to find your happiness and you had to be committed to this whether you liked it or not because you just had to heal yourself, right? Or else what? You're just going to sit around and cry all day? No, you had to, well at first you probably were, but you had to really stay committed to yourself and your happiness. And I'm getting it wasn't easy, right? And throughout this, and even to this day, you might still be beating yourself up in this, you know, regretful, remorseful energy, like, oh, I should have done this, or I shouldn't have done that. And it, what was I thinking? And it's just like, I feel like you still could be holding yourself in that energy a little bit. And it's like, you really need to get mental clarity about this person that it really wasn't you. It was all them. And I mean, obviously we're not perfect, right? But I feel like you're blaming yourself for stuff that wasn't really all you, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like when this person left, they were thinking, oh, it's fine. Like they felt like they didn't have to heal themselves from this at first, right? They were like, okay, I'm moving on, peace out. No thoughts about it. And yeah, they basically didn't make a decision on you. And now like, it's like now they see you as stability and they're guarded and they wanna come in. And it's like, they feel like you have like stability. Like they feel like you have stability and you're like, treat me right or get out of my face. Like that's really what they're feeling towards you. And they're also feeling like you're not in a rush to make anything happen. You're doing you, you really could give a shit. This is what they're thinking. This isn't the truth, right? But it's like, they're feeling like you could give a shit. You don't give a shit, okay? And you, okay, so basically what I'm trying to say is you don't care if it works or if it doesn't, but that's how they're seeing you. So you don't care if this takes 10 years to work out or if it doesn't work at all. And they're very much feeling left out in the cold and ignored by you. 
and that's just how they're feeling all right yeah very confused holding on to you possessively they're looking back and they're thinking about how they thought they were going to get away with this and how they didn't and honestly they feel real stupid real dumb and they feel like you were literally sent from god like no joke maybe you told them about the twin flame journey or maybe they're just finding out about it or maybe they're just starting to use their intuition and they're realizing you were literally a gift from spirit they're st see like they're starting to use their intuition about that and guess what now they're obsessed not in a good way so don't think oh haha they're obsessed no this is bad like they're obsessed they could be in your damn bushes right now no i'm just kidding well they could be but it's very toxic they could be drinking doing drugs but if they're not they're obsessing over you and you know it's just not a good energy okay it's very toxic 